Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm back. I'm attempting this again because the game was so good that I'm pissed off for not beating it the first time. Well, not properly beating it. And I then I was so pissed off I couldn't. So I'm just gonna attempt this again. Uh, I will go with Ra Laurel. I don't know if there's a difference, or like if it's uh, more difficult or less difficult. I don't know. Uh, we will try this again. Oh, so there was no cinematic, just shitty textures. Well, I turned down the... Oh, fuck. This happened again. I went the wrong way. And it's still too loud. Gonna fix it once we get inside. Maybe there is a sequence before this, hopefully, maybe, and you get some extra stuff. Okay, let me tone this down a little bit more. Because it's a bit too loud. It's a little bit too loud. Yeah, I don't know why I need to be here. Man. I'll come back later. Yeah, I was still gonna, still gonna be kind of mistaken as where I'm going because I forgot some parts. Done. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I think there was a patch or something that fixed up some no, no, it, it didn't change the controls in the UI at least. I need to see if there are any herbs. I don't think there are any here. Figure out how well I'm gonna do this this time. Combat knife is a useless piece of shit. That's something I did learn. This is gonna happen. I don't really need to go there, to be honest. The restroom is not there, if I remember. Well. The restroom is just there. So I'm kind of okay with just blasting through this. Let's save ammo. Still need to shoot that guy. Need to waste time on like this. Oh fuck, there's two of them actually.
go upstairs. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mm, there is something I missed. I think it's these guys. Okay, I'm really working. Let me see if any of these herbs are the herbs that I need. Okay, I don't think there was anything in the other room. How much did I say? 48 bullets. Oh yeah, there was a shotgun here, which is just a model or whatever. Can you look at it? Yeah. There was something else. Play at lower settings just so I can actually play this without much issues. There is way too much backtracking all over the place. Extremely pointless backtracking. So I could have wasted like five bullets per zombie there, but I saved those. I don't know if I missed any bullets, but that's the thing because now we drop down and we can't come back. Is I'm gonna have to take care of the zombies here, which is kind of a pain. The only thing I learned was that if you use shotgun at point blank range, which is difficult because you can be eaten and they, uh, you know, uh, aim up, you can kill them one shot. Maybe we will try that. Not that I say even get a shotgun or something like that, I'll, I'll try and see how much I do. Like, this game pissed me enough, uh, you know, enough so that I do this. Rarely does this, something like this happen.
Are you kidding me? How? How the fuck did you just... Plus, I need to kill them here because... Wow, I, I lowered the sh textures and it's having like those pop-in issues or pop-out issues or whatever. Yeah, anyway, I had to lower the textures. But I need to clear this area because the boss fight is right there. Yeah, that's for the herbs. Yeah, that's key. Also, I should go up because I didn't know that this area existed. And I completely missed that other blue thing. Well, I think that's ammo. Now that's key card. That we won't. Well, I can use it right now. So that I don't need to use it. No, 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 I can't use it. Sorry, sorry. But I need to unlock the chain. So I'll use that later. But the first save station and, you know, storage area is right here. I'll mix bullets or gunpowder. I think we get the save disk right now. Or maybe we get it in the next one. No, but the inventory is full. Hmm, forgot where the save thing is. So can I drop this? Warehouse key might come in handy right about now. find lockpicks for this which should be in the next room oh this is where the save thing is Saving ammo, blowing shit up. Let's not shoot these things. Oh fuck you, crows! I don't need you. I don't need your ass all this bullshit. Do I need to go here? Oh, I need to. I need to grab something at the end. Bullets. Hmm. There should be herbs here somewhere. Yeah, I need lockpicks, and that's pretty much the last time I kind of come here. I just need to look for herbs, which I do believe are somewhere around here. There, there, there it is. Ok, 
Can I look at the trash? Is there something in the trash? Okay, nope. Okay, so we're done with this area for a while. of ammo. I needed to waste them. Because I'm going to be running around here a lot and I don't want to lose health or nothing. Okay, I'm not going to do this for now. I'm not going to do this for now. I need the lockpicks. Lockpicks need to be with me all the time, which sucks ass. How many bullets? 36, that's not nice. Well, we're not doing well. At least I figured out how this lockpicking game goes. He has something. Jesus, could you not eat that many bullets? I don't have bullets for everybody. Yep, he won't start it. That's awesome. I need to go through here a lot. Can't just leave them. See how much inventory slots that we have. Yeah, the small key is actually useless. Like, there is not a door to open anything with the small key that I know of. And I think that's pretty much it for this house. Wait, wait, don't tell me the small key is for this. Wow. Wow, I never checked that at all. I was running through this house like a madman for so much and I never checked that. 
Jesus, during my first playthrough I was running like an idiot through everything. Yeah, I can't open that until I find the code, which should be in the next one. And yeah, I need to do this stupid ass puzzle. Shouldn't be that hard, yeah. Okay, I have some gunpowder. No, that's not what I need. Ah, both of them are heavy. Okay, is this the same one? Also, So for magnum it's refined, no for refined gunpowder I need normal gunpowder and heavy gunpowder and then I need two times that. Okay let's risk it. Okay, we have this and this. If I get this, I will be able to combine this and this, and then combine this into this. I can grab this. I think that's it. Storage room can grab that, and I'm done with this it. I forgot what the wires are for. Well, 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 remember, I guess. Fucking bullet ball. And I have just 16 bullets, that's great. I didn't save anything. Ah, where were the wires? Where were the wires? Where were the wires? The wires were in the next room, which was the fucking... I know what it is. It's it's the, the most awful place. And I think I can survive that, actually. Wait, do I have any gunpowder at mix? I wasted that gunpowder, so... For a gun that's gonna come at a later date, yep, I don't have any. Yeah, fuck. I should probably get some... You know, some healing. Gonna try run fast, but that's gonna be a question. No, no, this is a storage area. The the one I need is over here. There's something like seven, nine, something, something. Is there anything else? Yeah, no. There is a red arrow, I see. So it is an axis. Seven five oh nine three. Um, 
Pronto. E yeah, I shall be but I won't pick it up right now. So here is this one. So if I use it instantly, I don't think there is anything else useful. Maybe I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's screaming at me. Well, I need the virus. For this zone. Oh, there's a light to this for later. Oh yeah, he's got a chain cutter actually. Handgun bullets, that's that's useful. Maybe this should be gunpowder, yes. Maybe it's heavy, heavy, normal. Uh, still don't have a shotgun. Which success. I need that lighter. Ah, fuck, I need the lighter. This was a waste. Let us hope that there was nothing else that I needed over there. And they can mine and moan all day the fuck they want. Okay, there was... Okay, no, 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 I'm gonna go war cut the other thing first, actually. Because once I go into that room, I'm gonna have a few things to collect and... It's not gonna be nice what I meet there. Okay, I have... I don't need this, I don't need this. I need that. I need this. More pistol bullets. Uh, what else, what else? Heavy powder... Serum. I need sampling, I don't need any of that. Well, I should get the red herb. But I need some other shit to collect. I should have a shotgun by now. I think I got it right now, I don't know why you don't have it. Well, I can get the red arrow from there, so I don't need to worry. The issue is, I need one space free for the... Actually, I don't really need to collect anything in here. That isn't extremely important. Like, I don't really need that right now. I'm gonna come back for it. Nope, not there. Is there anything actually? Oh, 
know what, I'm gonna come back a few times, so I might as well kill him. There's a puppy disc. There are herbs. So that's gonna be... Ah, uh, five slots that I need. Ah, that's the thing that I completely kind of ignored the first time I dropped here. That comes to life. The moment I get here. So yeah, I just get the chemicals, I don't get anything else useful from here. Yeah, the thing is gonna start moving. The first time I played I shot it to death. But this time I don't need to. Just unlock it. Let's see, I have two more slots. I can collect some shit and then not really come back that many times with that many free inventory. Oh, free full inventory slots. Yeah, I could have probably juke this dude. But not, not enough. Okay, so we have three slots. One is for that, and the other is for the herbs. And plus one more, okay, four, technically. So I don't need right this right now. I don't need this right now or this. Hope that I didn't lose any of that because it looked like you didn't see or something. Oh yeah, 40 meters last free. I can drop that for now. Well technically I can get the chain cutter and I can get the key cards. Do one more thing before we continue on. There are two issues I have right now that I did, I think, kind of wrong or maybe out of order because I should have a shotgun and I should have. Yeah, I should have. Oh no, I know what I. That, that's where the battery is. I'm gonna get the shotgun pretty much now. Okay, so I've used this, all good. I'm gonna go collect some shit before I do anything else. That don't need that. Get four in into the slots. I think the place I need to save is uh, right, right before I go fight spiders because that's that's such a gnarly moment. Mm, no, this way. It's such a disgusting moment in the game. Technically I didn't even need for 
three slots because you could combine all of these maybe right now. I think this thing didn't break through the walls or something. If it looks like I know what I'm doing and I'm actually speedrunning this is because I spent over two hours trying to play the first time and failing utterly. Uh, this is kind of a surprise that I'm actually... Well, the, the awful part comes next. Like the awful amount of zombies, the awful amount of level design, everything. And this is also awful. Like you need to combine them in, in order. Like one after another. Which is stupid. Like even in Resident Evil you can combine them in any order. I mean any order. Starting with green. So in order to have this like plus bullshit combination of mess is happening fully restores health and effects. Which is gonna be useful once you start dealing with the fucking spiders that I'm gonna do. Deal with. I'm also... No, no, no. I, I know where the shotgun is. Uh, the shotgun is where I need to use the battery. Which is like right now. The issue is really Resident Evil Fortress uh, ruined me with its checkpoint system. Okay, let me this and let me this. Technically, what I need is the battery and I need energetics. I should get the shotgun ammo, but I think I might get it once I go there. I mean, I should get the loaded shotgun, or at least its ammo as well. So let's see, we are on... fine. Let's see how this goes. Oh, there were some shotgun shots here that I didn't pick up the first time around. Yeah, let me just grab those. That's the shoddy. Is it fully loaded? Yes, it is. Lighter fuel, yeah, for a lighter. Anything else that I can nab from here that I missed the first time around? Nope. Why I'm doing this is because we're gonna have two, two zombies right as we get out. Which we should test the shotgun by doing this. We will see how that goes. And how much that hurts. Okay, that worked. I don't need to go there anymore, that's why I collected all the shit before I left, so we can just leave. This won't work on the spiders, sadly. Let's see how we do this. Ah, I don't like this kind of forced uh, replayability where you need to, you know, know what the fuck you're doing in each step so you don't fuck everything up. Okay, what I don't need? Oh, don't need I'll, I'll empty up some something when I do this. Okay, that's done. I can take... Oh, do we have any other? I don't have any other saplings, sadly. I have a serum. Serum is going to be needed. Shotgun shells are going to be needed. Chemicals are going to be needed. Uh, chain cutter, I don't really need right now, as far as I remember. Uh, so I'm going to need. I'm going to take the floppy disk because I need to save. Uh, I think I, I just need to burn the thing, then fight a few spiders. Uh, then get out, pretty much. But I'm gonna need the serum, uh, and I'm gonna need the floppy disk to save. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need any of this. I mean, I can go burn that down, come back, and then save. Which saves me a lot of uh, issues. 
the spiders won't spawn until I continue onwards, so... Uh, I'll, 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 I'll take the fuck with this game and I'll, I'll repeat the shit. I know it's annoying, but, yeah. I might die. And I already, like, did kind of a decent amount of progress. Can you see? Yes, do I need to use this? Yeah, I need to use this, jeez. It overwrote my original save. Oh, great, thank you, game. That's why when I pressed uh, save, it just sent me back into the game. Great, great, now I can't compare. Great, uh, the game success even more. It, it's amazing how much the game success. And it's so amazing. That's sucking ass. Okay, I'm gonna take the serum. Because that's gonna heal me a bit and cure me from my poison, which I'm gonna get hit by with spiders. I think there's a zombie should have respawned here. Yep. Okay, this is much better than fucking wasting three or four shotgun shots to bring them down. I should have done this before I saved. So I'll use up all the item skills. Oh yeah, the first chemicals. Then the flame. Okay, that was fucking lucky. I need to kill the other one. Wait, did they delete it? Nope. Okay. So, shotgun... I don't know if they fixed something in the past week uh, or few days since I played, but shotgun is not as useless as ever, or I just need to aim it, which is kind of, uh, you know, pretty weird that you need to do that. There's a bunch of zombies here, that I know. There they are. Okay, this is much uh, nicer way of taking care of them instead of what trouble I had the first time I played this. Especially since uh, dogs respawn later here, which is absolutely awful for many reasons. Yes, they give me the shotgun shells. There's a zombie dude at the end that I can probably... Wow, the texture's just fucked up. Completely. But this is not how the proper... I think because I lowered the graphics too low, it kind of... Fucked up. And the graphics just kind of shut, shut themselves. Okay, I can take this, and I can take this, and combine them, I didn't even get poison, which is good, take the floppy disk, she has some reaction to bread, I don't know what, wait, what, I don't know what is this supposed to be, I can't push anything, uh, or do anything here else, she just comments on desserts, and this is pretty much it. You can be here. As I said, there's a zombie over there. Wait, did I check the door here? I think I did. I can't go there. Yeah. Let's 
So the shotgun is actually much more useful now. Much more than any any time before I used it, which is kind of stupid that you need to do all this so you can, you know, make full use of it. But at least I can use this. I need a fire hose. This is another save spot, which is great. Put this, put this. Uh, valve, I don't need it right now. Hold first aid kit. Let's pull those two. Yeah, so there's a save spot. Okay, I forgot which... Wait, is there? Did I pick that up? Is it? No, it's not the up. Okay, so if I go to the right, uh, there's going to be a barrel I can explode and there's going to be an attack with a dog and other bullshit. Uh, I don't need a valve for that. Uh, I can't really go into other areas, it's just to pick up like one or two items. If I go to the left, it's gonna take me to some other things, so let's try doing that. Wait, did I go here? Oh, the not okay. So yeah, I need to try and take out the zombies with the explosive if I can. Well, that ain't gonna work. Shotgun it is. Wasted good shoddy ammo, but I wasted also some pistol ammo, which is also great, not great. At least this mechanic, I don't know why it's not texturing some fields. When I put it to low, I really put everything to low. And it's still ta taxing my graphics card on my PC. This still looks stupid. But it works. So, if it works, it ain't stupid. There was a nerve or something here, right? Nope. I don't have any healings, I don't... that's gonna suck ass. Oh, this is where the herbs are. Okay. need to come back here so I don't need to waste ammo on the dog if he doesn't bite me in the ass before I leave. Oof, that was fucking close. Park key, park key, park key, that's for the other area. So yeah, I can't combine these two, I need a red one to combine them, which is kinda stupid. Okay, I don't need this, don't need this, don't need the park key, park key is gonna come back uh, later. In the park. So, I still have a lot of shotgun shells, mean stuff, samplings, energetics, floppy disks, mean samplings, plus, oh wait, do we have them? What's this? Oh yeah, I have. Uh, nope. How's your right? Okay, I can combine this with this. So we have plus plus. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need a chain cutter. Heavy ammo, floppy disk, kinetics. I'm gonna store this. Might get the analgetics. Just in case, but. I know there is one zombie I didn't shoot, and then we go through a door, and we are in an area with. So I think again a lot of zombies that need to be shot, and we're gonna have some herbs there. And I need to shoot them, because uh, this I'm gonna show you. Uh, this thing is uh, sewer ac ent entrance exit whatever is gonna be covered uh, at the like last moment so I'm gonna get fucked if I don't do that but 
like I'm gonna be royally fucked if I don't uh, clean the cleanse the area, clean the area. cleanse literally cleanse it with holy fire and everything. So yeah, there is a lot of zombies here, and I gotta start taking care of them. If I want to save up on healing items when I run through this place because there's gonna be two dogs I think that spawn here two or three dogs uh, which is gonna be just fucking disgusting a really disgusting dick move from the game there is only one place uh, the spiders will spawn for now like I don't really need to kill all these zombies I can probably juke them but I'm not good at juking zombies so this is why I'm doing this nope no you don't fucking get my can I even go down here I don't think I can no. like I said the reason why this is uh, all white is because textures are on low and for some reason it bugged out the game ok I know there is a good thing over here Good thing as in fucking ammo but because the first time I played I panicked I didn't have the chance to explore it yeah handgun bullets which are fucking hidden uh, handgun bullets are not that important until I find the Uzi because the Uzi eats 9mm bullets and it's very actually useful So they're gonna try to break through, I'm gonna go away. They should break through. Come on. Yeah, I know you wanna break through. And now you're gonna get shotgun to the face. Again, I can juke them, but I don't really want to. I can just end them. Wait, there's more? Oh, they're just they're moaning they have death moans after they get shot in the fucking head which is hilarious so this connects oh yeah this is what we need from here but I don't think we have inventory spots yep spots slots slots uh, I'll be back here in a second since we are already back here which is good. Let's drop off a few things. Pick up a few things. So, wow, it's. Look at how shitty this is. I'm gonna need a park key. And so it doesn't bug out the game. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get any more red ones. I don't know. Uh, what else I'm gonna need? Uh, park key so I can go to the park but which door was that? I kind of forget. No, 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 no. Well, no, 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 I don't need the park key just yet. I don't need it. I'm gonna just take something that's not gonna break the. That's gonna take these. Yeah, I don't need the park. I need the crank. Hey, you did the wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. So, to kill spiders, aim down, shotgun. To kill zombies, aim up, shotgun. Basically. How much pistol bullets? 70 something. The thing is, shotgun shoots slow. And if I can have a lot of uh, Uzi ammo, then that will mean. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Uh, I'm gonna get the Uzi now, and I need to empty my knife. Like, there are even not even breakable boxes here, which is a disappointing, you know, thing. So, why would you use a knife? A knife sucks against zombies, like, absolutely sucks. So, drop this. Shotgun. So if I can kill all the zombies with the shotgun and then fight the boss with nothing but the revolver and uh, 
we see that would be more preferable and there are a lot of zombies in the next section that I need to take care of that deserve a bullet to their cranium yeah blah 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 okay there's a lot of gunpowder there's a hose okay, there, there's a submachine gun I have this lot so and I think I can mix these two. Come on, what's the other one? Yeah, it's gunpowder and then gunpowder. Well, I can mix them and get refined, but I need two sets of refined in order to deal with that. So I'll deal with that later. I'm still better off having more shotgun and more... Uh, Pistol, 9mm ammo because of the Uzi as it eats 9mm bullets. I used it on zombies and it kills them pretty fast because it shoots a lot of bullets but also wastes a lot of bullets, so that's not a good thing. So, I'm gonna do we have any gunpowder? I have heavy gunpowder, so I'll drop this and I'll take the heavy. I have a lot of heavy gunpowder actually. So I will combine this. I have another set of uh, heavy gunpowder and normal gunpowder. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's okay for now. Peridot, peridot, azurite. Um, three peridot saplings, actually. Which I just now noticed. I think it sorts itself out a little bit. Like I don't, I like Resident Evil that you can even you, if you make mistakes, you can technically go through it without much issues. Like you can't really fuck up that bad, even on normal difficulty. Like you can fuck up if you really waste ammo, but if you are just killing zombies and not missing, which is not that difficult to do you won't have an issue okay is there anything else i can pick up i can, I can check that this is a one bad but that's it uh here you need to like if i did i killed all the zombies everywhere and then i uh, ran out of ammo and i didn't use the shotgun properly so the, the these kinds of tricks are annoying that you uh, are required to use to be able to do anything because without them you're fucked uh, also, there is a thing that I will do or try to do is uh, I'm taking the long way around. I think I don't know why. Maybe I'll check if there's any zombies that show up. Um, well, now it's safe. The issue is when you come back, uh, there is a zombie right there blocking your path to get to the save area before the boss fight. I'm gonna try and save a floppy disk and kill that zombie so I can go to the safe area and save. Wow, this texture bullshit is annoying. I don't wanna go to the options for the sake of it, you know, breaking the game. I don't wanna break the game. Okay, so this is done. I don't think I need anything right now from the storage area. Because this leads here. Yeah, okay, I can get the red herb. And this one, and combine them. And have the ultimate herb collection. So. Okay, combine. So yeah, I will need a park key for this. Also, there's gonna be crows, which is bullshit. I hate those in these kinds of games. I get at which point it is spawn. Oh, this is gunpowder. Heavy gunpowder. I'm gonna have to wait until this guy comes up. 
if he can even come all the way up. I don't want to waste time on him. Also, there is no combining unless you have any inventory slots, which is utter bullshit. Even Resident Evil 1 had that. So I need to have empty inventory slots to combine. So I know there is... There. Still heard more zombies. Is there more zombies? Okay, there is one more here. No, you fucking don't. Forgot what that dude has, I'll pick it up right away. Just go back and leave stuff and collect stuff. Okay, so we can leave this and I can take Azurite. Then we can combine these two and we can do them. Uh, I have Heavy gunpowder and heavy gunpowder, which I can combine and have more of this. Uh, shotgun shells, I think I have enough to kill all the zombies that I need to kill. Uh, maybe a little bit less, I will see. Uh, so, I need to go collect one item from that thing, and then I need to go... Yeah, I'm gonna go collect that item. Because it's just one item left. I forgot what it was, actually. So let us see. The game is not a, uh, this bad, uh, you know, graphically. Oh, it's this. Okay, cool. It's just me playing on uh, very shitty graphics. Yeah, this is not available. So there is still more puzzles here, which is kind of insanely annoying. There is so much backtracking. Like, I did a little bit less now. Of a lot less. And what is this? What, what are we at? What's the time? An hour. Okay, I'm an hour in this. The, uh, when I know what I'm doing. When I know when where shit is. And when I'm dealing with zombies the proper way. Okay, so I don't need this. I'm gonna have a lot of shit to pick up in the next zone. Uh, Okay, yeah, I need, actually, I need, uh, no, 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 no. I need the park key. Pull that out. Um, actually. No, actually, actually. Actually. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna do this. Uh, because it's gonna fuck me in the ass if I don't. And I'm gonna leave the gun in. Why I'm doing this is I'm going down to go pick up the Magnum because if I don't do it now, well, the game is gonna progress and it's gonna lock me away from it for until I get down here. And the moment I get down here again, it's gonna be for the boss fight, and I don't wanna go fishing for Magnums then. Like, it's gonna break right, right there and start attacking. Uh, the issue is somebody was complaining that they used a lot of bullets on it. Like, stupid amount of bullets. And it still didn't go down. Which is quite an issue. Yes, I will take the magnet. Thank you. I don't know if I'll have to refine it. Like, to get more bullets for this. Hopefully not. But we will see. Uh, park key. Yes, I can go do the park key now. I don't like uh, zombies simply respawning. Like, simply appearing and spawning somewhere. Like, I don't like that. If you want extra zombies that are gonna come back and bite me in the ass, uh, either spawn them still there, like, they're still there, just not activated, and they activate when I, you know, um... I don't think I'm gonna need the lockpicks. I think I'm gonna need chain cutters. Yes, I think I'm gonna need more chain cutters, so I have to bring those. There's the chain cutters, there it is. 
so yeah, either leave them in the, in the area so that I run into them and if I'm stupid and ignore them, don't slice them with knife and all that, uh, they start attacking me. But if I'm smart and I attack them first, I can clear them out earlier. Just spawning zombies, not not cool. Not, not, absolutely fucking not cool. Okay, what is this? And I'll have just one in the slot, which is a really shitty situation here. Too bad I learned how to kill zombies with a shotgun, so this should be okay. I'm not playing this like a barbarian, I'm actually killing in the proper way. Right, so this is pretty much the last area. When I got the Uzi, I wanted to test it out, so I kind of started killing the zombies there. Okay, that was a stupid mistake, I missed. So they really need to get stupidly close for me to trigger this. There's more zombies, there's like 10 zombies just here. Something. And one spider wants to clear something up. So yeah, the moment he tries to go into the animation, I need to shoot him in the face. Oh yeah, I need a valve for this place down here. Yeah, this doesn't lead anywhere, that's gonna open up somewhere else, sometimes else. But yeah, I need a valve. So I'm gonna be running through this area quite a few more times. I don't see any herbs. There might be some herbs, something else here, nope. Okay, let's kill a few more zombies. Yeah, this is decently wide, so I can probably juke them. But it's also kind of annoying. So yeah, you don't fight me, dipshit. can wait until they go start going into the animation and then blow their heads off. I know there's more of you, come on, shuffle about. Shuffle about so I can shoot you and shoot your faces off. I think she's looking to the left because there's zombies to the left as well. Well, my left, her right. There should be zombies here. Nope. Now oh, I can check tombstones. I think they're actually behind something around here because I was... Yeah, this is probably part of a puzzle that I can't currently operate. But there are thick zombies here somewhere. Because this is a puzzle. Yep, and... Zombies are somewhere around here. Maybe like in a closed crypt or something. They're not really that much displayed on the map as well. Oh, here's the numbers. At least one. Yeah, no fucking way. Okay. Oh, there is something important there. What's here? Not available in the demo. Okay. Fair enough. Detonator, that's gunpowder. I mean, I'm full on inventory, so that's not gonna happen. Don't block my progression. Jesus, there was like an invisible buggy wall. Jesus. Okay, so I think the crows are gonna activate now, or maybe after I pick up the detonator. But what do I need? I need the wall valve, I need the wool valve. I need a valve, I need an empty inventory slot. And that's maybe it. Valve will release an inventory slot that I'll be able to use to get the explosive. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. I have gunpowder and I have extra gunpowder here. Combine. Ah, uh, 
what do I can I drop? I'll drop this. I'll take the valve and I'll take the serum just in case. Uh, random blah 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 chain cutter. I don't need the chain cutter. I'm just gonna need this. I'm already running low on shotgun shells. Jesus, I've been killing all zombies with just one shot of a shotgun shell, and I'm already running low. Like I'm on to ten. Because basically, the moment I got the shotgun, I'm constantly using it to one-shot zombies. Which is what the shotgun should do. It should do that normally, not when I need to, you know, wiggle it about in a special way. And technically, I can kill the spider or I can just run away, but I want to kill it. I don't want to, you know, fuck around with it. It's a tight corridor, so it's not a nice place to deal with that thing. No, I don't want to combine. Can I just use... Yes, use the wall, please. Sometimes it uses it automatically, sometimes it just doesn't. I am removing it. Okay, so the spider is not going to show up now, it's going to show up in, when I come back. I don't know why this is needed, maybe for another puzzle. I don't think there is anything else I need to pick up here. Also just clicking yes every time is I know what I Okay, so I have one more inventory slot free and one spider to deal with. Fuck your babies if they start coming out. They don't. They don't start coming out when you kill it like this, I guess. And it takes one bullet instead of 20 when you kill it like this. So we've gotten one thing. So we've got another. I don't have to collect anything else over here. Except for the detonator. Or remote controller, whatever. Yeah, everybody's dead. So, I maybe I've missed some herbs, quite possibly, I don't know. But we've gotten everything I think we need. I'm not gonna even deal with the crows if they don't like uh, stun lock me somewhere. So I think we can just run through. I'll still switch over to, uh, to the Uzi, just in case. Yep, there they are. Oh wow, look at their attack pattern and their bullshit. Yeah, you can all go just suck my dick. Okay, so now we are at the technically end game of this demo okay so I'm gonna store this store this store this I don't need any of that I'm gonna take uh, I don't need I'm gonna take this and take the flop disk actually I'm gonna save now because uh, the next section has a lot of dogs a lot of enemies and then we go into the zone where there is the boss and all that so I'm gonna do this so I can save be sure I don't die from all the dogs, all the zombies that respawn and everything, and that I can go through it. I have like, what is it, uh, 14 shots to kill everything that needs to be killed. I have analgetics, which should help me go through that area. And I have... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't need anything else. Either. I don't have a handgun, but I will use the machine gun if need be. So I'm gonna use one of the floppy disks. I still have one more. This is still shit amount of, you know, floppy disks that you get to use for like this much playtime. It's still an hour. Like, I'm playing this for an hour while I know what I'm doing. People who don't will not have such a good uh, time with this. Like I did the first time around. I didn't have a good time with this. So, let's see how I do against the dogs and all that bullshit. 
There, now we see there is a dead body over there and I can't progress. Okay, wasted two shots with two dots. Let's call it that. How much health? I lost. So I can't go there, which would be faster way to end this shit. And because they had dogs... Oh shit, there's gonna be dogs in the next area as well. As I said, no, because they had enemies... Previously left there. They attacked me a lot. This time, not so much. Okay, where is the... I'm still on caution. I'm 11 shots in. I think there's gonna be more dogs. There should be more dogs. Okay, the dog is dead. So, smaller enemies. Smaller, quote-unquote. Shoot to the ground. Zombies, shoot to the face. Maybe that's gonna be for the boss as well. You have to shoot him in the face, not in the chest. Which is kind of ridiculous. Especially since he has such melee attacks that will... Okay, this is also stupid. Yeah. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. S suddenly, army people that are not dead. And they're telling me they're busy and I'm a pal. And they're just sitting there. And to get out of this town as soon as... Yeah, I mean, I want to, but... It won't be... Oh, will it be you? It's just like in Resident Evil. Also, yeah, he stands up. Come on. This time I have a shotgun for your face. Come on. Fucking asshole. I think there's more of them over here. Yeah, they, they respawn. Just, just, just to be di dicks. Nothing else. Like, there's absolutely no reason for them to be here. This is a boss fight. We need to go up and save. Not waste time on this bullshit. I'm honestly not even gonna bring the remote detonator and all that until I go down and deal with them. So, I'm on caution. I'm gonna eat some herbs because I have too many and this is gonna be the end of this. Uh, I can't. Yeah, Peridot is just leaving. Yeah. And now, fine. Uh, what else? I'm gonna bring some. Well, I need magnum rounds. I don't need this. Uh, I didn't bring, I didn't assemble more magnum rounds, which sucks, but we'll have to deal with this. We have an algetics, we have... I think I'm just gonna get these. Well, wait, wait a minute, let's, let's, let's... Let's take these two and combine them. Because why not? Uh, and I'm gonna take these two. To, I mean, I can take just the first aid kit, but yeah, I don't care. What does the first aid kit do, actually? Kit uh, with enough tools to treat any wound restores health completely. Well, that's okay. I'll, 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 I'll risk it with these things, and then if I fail, I'll come back. Oh, I need uh, a floppy disk to save. Um, funny thing is, when the boss spawned, I, in the first time when I played, I managed to run away. I literally managed to run away, which was stupid. But let's let's try this the proper way. So we are right at the boss fight. We have all the items that we need to deal with them. I've collected, I think, everything. I might have missed something. I don't care if I missed something. I'm gonna save and we're gonna try and do the boss fight. I honestly didn't need to erase that one save. I thought there were gonna be more zombies that respawn. But apparently there are just dogs. Which don't, you know... They are an annoyance in itself, but I'm good for now. So I'm gonna take the, these. So you have three heals. You have some ammo. Uh, pretty much just gonna use the the, the Uzi and the hand, the, you know, the Magnum, and see how how I fare. If I get killed, it's gonna be a long loaded time, but it's not gonna be a long run back here, so it's gonna be easier deal with yeah so now this is empty we could have picked up the magnum now but we don't want to there are no zombies now and there is gonna be just this asshole that spawns and that he spawns right as we go here which is even a dicker move yeah yeah yeah, yeah whatever 
I hate you, dickass. And yeah, we can't progress there because the game decides to be the utter dick. Like the most dickish dick of all dicks. We're gonna throw a rock. And we're gonna try it. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, I think pretty bad. Well, I think we might be able to... Okay, I don't know if I did anything to him. So this is gonna be fun. Oh wow, it's dead. And suddenly it's stopping. The gas is stopping. Oh my god. We can actually progress. Fucking dickhead. I had to waste 140 9mm pistol rounds into this asshole's ass in order to. And not, and not even bring him down. No, 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 no. He ate all those bullets, and then I had to use one magnum bullet. And the only reason I had that many bullets is because I didn't kill all the zombies, it's because I saved uh, a lot of bullets, and because I used uh, the fucking shotgun to kill a lot of people. Not people, zombies. So this is kind of like a major fucking dick move. Did I actually have just caution? Do I have one uh, paradox? No, I don't. I'm gonna... Wait, how much does this heal? A small amount of health restores a small amount of health. Okay, so will this heal me actually top me off? Wow, he really did a low amount of damage on me this time. Like, I had so much bullshit with him, it's not even funny. And technically, now I'm out of ammo. Like, I'm out of fucking ammo. This is not funny. I don't know if this is actually the end. I never made past the boss fight, so this is gonna be funny. Okay, let's let's get out of inventory, please. Oh, well. that takes a lot to reload. Well, I have some shotgun left. Let's see what happens now. This should be the end of the demo. Yeah, this was Demo Alley special. I do, I'm probably gonna upload this now when I'm actually competent in finishing this game and not piss the fuck off. I literally blew a gasket uh, the time I played this uh, the first time. Like, I literally blew a gasket. I, I'm not even gonna hide that. It just went so angry. Like, if it spawns spiders on me now, I'm gonna be annoyed. Or kills me when I plant this. Okay, let's not stand at the explosive. Can I even go up now? I wonder. Because there's a... Well, something is blocking the exit. A, a zombie corpse. That they could not move. Because I don't know why. Where do I need to go to blow this thing up? Okay, let's do the stupid. I don't care. Let, let's do the stupid thing. Let's stand in front of the explosion. Okay, let's not stand in front of the explosion. I don't know when, when I need to trigger this. Did it bug up? Okay, I'm gonna do the stupid thing. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna trigger the remote explosives right at my face. 
and then I'm gonna watch a video if somebody had to combine these two before you know activating which is gonna be stupid but let's see oh I just need to press E great I'm a dumbass Thanks for playing. Echoes of Dreaming is being developed by Alvaro Moonglint and Laura Krau. We are a young couple that's following, that following our passion left everything to work full time on development of this game. It means the world to us that we played our demo. We hope you have enjoyed and are eager to see more Echoes of Dreaming in the future. The full version of Echoes of Dreaming will be available in late 2023. In the meantime, you can add it to our wish list, especially okay, Moonglint and Krau. Ah, uh, okay. Zen. Again, it's past midnight. It's 1 a.m. But Zen. It's a, an amazing game. It's a full on Resident Evil like. Full on old Resident Evil. Full on that. It has so many things, but also it's lacking some of the things. Um, some just quality of life bullshit and some other things. The puzzles are okay. It's fun but the inventory slots are too few like even with the three free slots for weapons the specific for weapons which i also had issues in the old resident evil games well you have six slots but you know you have uh, you need to put weapons in those still resident evil found a way to balance out the amount of items you will need to have on hand and collect you know, along the way between like places that you can leave them set them off uh, you know use them and all that like even Resident Evil Zero, which had issues with inventory slots and didn't have a storage space, kind of had um, a thing where you can like drop them anywhere and you can pick them up later, which I used the main hall for. Um, second game, like the first game, actual first game had the storage, which we have here, which is cool. Uh, it had its issues with inventory slots as well, but you didn't really have to carry that many quest items, you didn't have to collect that many, you know, items along the way. You kind of always, you could always have, like, uh, the weapon and ammo slots full, then, uh, you know, the lighter and the fuel thing as well, and then you have technically uh, two slots if you played with Chris, or four slots when you played with Jill for inventory items, herbs, combining, also, yeah, combining, uh, items that are in, in the inventory and the ones you pick up are an unnecessary thing then you know combined herbs not in order but you can I can combine if you're giving me a green and blue herb at the, uh, at the place let me combine them together not that I need a red herb to combine with the, you know the green and blue I mean th this is all things that you can probably fix up and make in game Again, balancing with the amount of weapons and zombies and all that. There's too many zombies for this section. Too many respawning zombies. It's not necessary. Absolutely not necessary to have this many zombies. It's not fun. It's just not. Uh, the fact that you can kill zombies with shotgun to the head. I mean, you need to figure that out or someone needs to tell you that. Spiders as well, without shitting out more smaller spiders. Um dogs as well but the aiming for like the red barrel sh is shit uh, I missed the second one I hit the first one easily um, the, the fa like, there is too many zombies there does not need to be this many zombies because it, it becomes a shooting alley like Resident Evil 4 which was more comedic than a scary experience where you don't know what's behind the next corner or what's gonna stand up and try to bite you in the ass like the original Resident Evils. Somehow like they balanced out the amount of ammo and the amount of zombies perfectly. You need to go recheck those and see how that goes. You know there is gunpowder I can combine it uh, whichever I, way I want to get extra ammo and all that bullshit. But still like you either add a difficulty like um, not just zombies being more spongy you needed to be taken care of a certain way but also needed to be uh, there's less items but like in an easy difficulty there's more items so you can you know, spread around because this kind of like fixed camera aiming unless you're doing it auto aim which tormented souls did like they literally zero zero in the camera at the enemy so you don't need to 
check if you're missing or not, if you're aiming or if you're not. So unless you add that, you need to add more ammo because people will be missing a lot. Um, like, uh, or, you know, Resident Evil also did. You can, you know, get into a room and the character will auto-aim whatever the zombies are. That's how you can sometimes check zombies. Uh, oh, sorry, check zombies. Check where the zombies are. If there are, uh, like, behind the camera, because it's a fixed camera and all that. Um, it would be more skill based if it's like Resident Evil Remake 2 or 3 or now 4 and uh, others which is over the shoulder and like them and us and all that. Like there is still up the time for optimization, there is still stuff that you can do. Um, I know optimization even comes after you know you, you develop this, um, then publish it and then patch it and all that. Um, like it, it's a very good game. I would love, I would absolutely like Alvaro and Laura, I would absolutely love to play this. Um, is Laura the name of the character that they played with? Because that's kind of in self insult. I don't know if Alvaro was the main dude, I forgot. Never mind. Uh, like, I would absolutely love to play this game, even if there's no difference between characters. Like, not, not at all, except you know, picking up which skin you want to run with. But some issues need to be resolved, uh, some clearing issues. Also, there was an issue that they had in the first. Um, playthrough where I used the knife to try and kill the zombies where um, it's what no uh, where I stagger them I shoot them stagger them and they still go into an animation of me uh, of biting me while the other zombies are approaching and they're gonna be next in line to bite me actually and I don't think I took any damage there but the, the animation got stuck I don't think this happened here I think I even had a lot of uh, free you know, time to shoot them in the head while they were, you know, starting to do this. So, um, there are some issues, there are some, you know, I, I know what you did with some areas like the kitchen in the beginning. Oh, zombies are spawned there, you gotta go kill them and there's absolutely nothing there, you're just wasting ammo. I know that's a trope of survival horrors, but I didn't there was a very 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 rare chance that I lost ammo or I was low on ammo in any of the games that I played. I know I did kind of in Demonas the first time I played around. I know I did in Resident Evil a little bit, sometimes very rarely, but I could bounce back pretty quickly. Or if I figured out what to do, I just didn't waste the ammo. I, you know, did other things. Um, and I promise you, Resident Evil 4 spoiled me. I am not gonna lie, it absolutely spoiled me for, for ammo for some sections. But in others, uh, I couldn't find ammo. So, there needs to be that kind of a balance. And, like, if you had a little bit wider areas that I can, you know, maneuver and juke zombies and, you know, get here and there, that's better than having like you know a lot of zombies in tight squeezes that that's not fun that, when especially when you know like I also add like a thing uh, if there are already zombies in the area don't spawn more like at the end section here where you spawn extra zombies uh, and if I left the zombie like the normal zombies there don't spawn spawn the dogs there's, there's no need like if I already juked the zombies around I avoided them yeah but if I killed all of them okay then spawn them so I'm not because there are people that want to do the knife run and the knife sucks and the knife run sucks here and it's gonna be awful for them I mean I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna shoot all the zombies in the faces uh, but yeah give us that kind of an option also some kind of inventory increase uh, that's I also found another issue if you have too many items in your you know storage it just goes off the screen no scroll no nothing um, more add the mouse god damn it add the mouse through menus I don't really I've played too many of these games and all of the other ones have better inventory management with like keyboard and mouse not keyboard no just you know as if I was playing on a controller like, Resident Evil had a better section, um, Demonas had a better section, um, Tormented Souls had a better, you know, controls in inventory. But if you don't want to do that, just give me an option to use the mouse for everything, please. Like, I, so I can go through the journals and all that, so you can, you know, actually see what I collected and all that. 
thing is I got pissed off the first time I played this at the end of it because I want this game to I want to play this game so much it's so cool it's so awesome it's so Resident Evil I know it's Echoes of the Living but it's so Resident Evil um, I don't know I want a more more story like actual story uh, what happened to our character before we jumped out the window what's happening now what are we doing who is behind this probably some corporation or something but <sighs> sorry that's kind of like why I got pissed off because uh, I see this game being really cool and really interesting not even tormented not uh, tormented souls yeah tormented souls had a weak plot Demon Us had a weak plot but I still enjoyed playing through those multiple times even so give options for players like give more floppy disks that that's a must that's absolutely a must just just one floppy disk i saved up i could have say i could have finished this with one floppy disk but that's because i knew what i was doing people don't know the first time they play and they can't really reload and you know maybe i can play three hours then reload and now know what to do and then don't waste five floppy disks but more floppy disks more ammo more inventory slots just just so we can enjoy the game so it's not a slog and a you know frustration thing you can add other stuff uh, for replayability like different you know characters have diff like i don't think that i need to carry the fucking lock picks is annoying as all hell uh and even if I'm gonna have to carry the chain cutters through whole game, that's also gonna be annoying as hell. But have like one character have you know permanent lockpicks, uh, the other character have permanent, you know, I don't know, extra weapon slots, something that will make us you know wanna choose one or the other. Like even in the first Resident Evil, it was su such a simple choice, uh, such a simple modification to the characters that you know you you could use and play. Um, Chris had less inventory slots and didn't have uh, lockpicks, but he could carry the lighter with him so he can burn the corpses. Um, Jill had lockpicks, she could enter uh, uh, other areas faster than Chris, uh, go to some specific zones, collect more shit, and she had more inventory slots. So, let us make a choice like that. As I said, this game has a lot of, lots of, uh, you know, Potential. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. I just don't want for people to hate it for these specific reasons, which is at this point it's really, really punishing you the first time of play. Like it's really punishing you for exploring, punishing you for coming back to some areas, punishing you for wasting ammo on like things that you don't actually need or don't know that you don't need to like i thought i was gonna go when i first uh, fell into that hole into that room with you know things all over the the thing the, the flash thing the whatever where you fight that first mutated thing not the zombie i thought i was gonna need to come back there maybe in the full game i will come back there to like burn that thing to collect something to activate something but now that i not and i know that i'm not i can just you know not fight that thing that I uh, it spawns and just go out the door it doesn't follow me it's good that some zombies don't follow like they don't just break the door and come please don't add that option please don't um, because it's gonna make a living hell for people who don't who play who don't you know kill all the zombies they save a lot of stuff and again the boss fight was fucking disgusting absolutely disgusting um, the way how you block your players from going to a safe zone with a zombie awful um the fact that i needed 149 millimeter ammo from an uzi like if i shot that from a pistol it probably needed more because the pistol probably does less damage maybe the uzi does less damage but shoots more i would debate it because i think it needed me six shots from a pistol to kill a zombie and she six shots from a zoo because it just goes trr, trr, uh three shots three shots and i just unloaded on the fucking boss i fucking unloaded 140 uh am on it and it still still stood and then i needed to use it well thankfully just one magnum bullet if i needed to use all the magnum bullets that's that's even more awful so 
rebalance the damage or give me a, a, a difficulty option I, I don't care i i don't mind playing this on easy i just want to you know go through this and enjoy the creepiness because some people have more noticed that like oh you've ripped off this zone from resident evil or this zone or the whole kitchen or the whole this and that i don't fucking care rip it off it's a good game the issue is it has really nice atmosphere really nice music really nice character really nice everything this playthrough was awful because it set everything too low so it broke half the game i don't care I'll go watch my first video you will see me rage and play this for three hours instead of what was it i finished this in an hour and a half but i finished it when i knew what i was doing i knew which puzzles go where the first time i didn't know anything i was running around like an idiot i missed so many things i there are a lot of people who miss that's the issue i've seen on discussion on steam when checking this game for other people's uh, you know input or how they felt about the game and i was gonna with the first uh, right of rage raged uh, rage induced post but it was late so i went to bed instead um the issue about that is uh, other people didn't know what to do with small key i didn't know what to do with small key i found out now by sheer fucking accident I didn't read other people's comments to see what does it go or where does it go. So I literally just by accident. Uh, the fact that like herbs don't glow, no uh, other items I think don't glow sometimes. Like uh, I saw some shotgun shells, they didn't glow. Like choose one or the other. Either all items on all uh, areas glow or they do not. Don't go halfway. Don't go half assing it because. If they're gonna fit so nicely into the zones, I, at first I didn't notice herbs at all. Uh, like even Resident Evil made them like a little bit more colorful, so you, they stuck out, so you could see them like half of the way, and then they added the glow. Uh, so either add the glow or, or don't add the glow to all the items. Like no, no half-assing it. No going half items they have, they don't have. Uh, if you want to add, uh, if you want to do that, give it as an option to the players. Like, give it as an option. They can click off, show all items on map, or don't show all, uh, all items on map. Second, map. Uh, we are at the map. Either let players know that there are items in the zone by, you know, Resident Evil like. The zone is red, which means there are items there, or the zone is green or blue or whatever. When we picked up all the items, like do some of these options. You gotta do some of these options. They are fucking mandatory at this point. If players wanna, you know, enjoy the game fully, because there are chances you can absolutely fucking miss useful and critical items. I could have ran past that crank at the end without noticing it completely. Like there are very specific items that need to be picked up and they need to be shown. Also, again, another thing about the map give like like i i it's cool that it's like drawn as a chalk and all on the board and all that the styles is everything every, every game has a different map system and shit but i would still say either give it uh you need to show players which doors if you're not gonna show where the player is on the map fine i don't care i can fumble my, my way through that show which doors are either locked unlocked or completely uh, inaccessible to pro progress and you don't need to like show the map completely on the other side but give it a little bit of a, like uh, extension like if we can go through a door but that's a different map just give like a, two lines up you know like it's continuing but it's cut off that, that's what i'm saying the map is cut off so we know where we go to the next map also give us an option to switch through to, to the next map so we can check uh, other zones and whatever do the map fix the map the map fix fucking fix it because we need to have some input of, of what we've unlocked not unlocked can unlock that that's also an issue resident evil again does this better uh when you get a key in some resident evils mind you it's gonna show you that okay you have this diamond key cool uh all these red lock doors you can unlock with the diamond key when you go to the map and shuffle through it. You need to do this. Or give some other, you know, input because the very first key you get, which is like a restroom key, it doesn't, like, it goes to a door that doesn't look like a restroom. It looks just like a door in that 
diner. Well, I mean, I can figure it out that it goes there. But some other doors, like, oh, it's a storage key. Oh, it's a park key. I figure out what the park key is. It storage key? What the fuck? Where does that go? Which door is that? What, is, what are you considering a storage? Uh, so you need to add those kinds of uh, quality of life things because it's not that uh, they're mandatory mandatory it's that people will ask for them people will fucking ask for them i forgot what uh, them and us had to do uh players were asking for something some minor bullshit thing that was absolutely not necessary but players were so bugging the developers to add that like i'm not even kidding they were so bugging them they had oh yeah now i remember i remember it was a minor thing but actually it was a useful thing uh at some point you get a chance to go into a portal that leads you to a specific room that's technically a save room but not a save room and the developers did not add a save slot a uh, save thing there like it's uh, like you have a pc the there is like a gramophone there so they did not add that in that room like you had you can pick up uh, that was the only, yeah that was the only place you can uh, store items like you had a box for storing items uh and you know they didn't have a save save slot a save spot there which was godly bad uh game development and i actually agree with people that were begging them to add that and they had to add that and they did add that uh which again was something that you should have done from the beginning but they didn't and it was a bullshit move so do stuff like this because the quality of life it's just gonna improve players enjoyment of the game it's not gonna be a detriment if you want to say this oh but this is now more difficult players need to figure out the map better they need to know where they're going and where they're not uh, it's just gonna be a frustration thing and it's gonna drop off more players that would come into this and enjoy this than you're gonna have you know hardcore resident evil players and be like oh yeah I, I need to figure out the map oh i'm such a badass and all that. just just give those quality of life improvements people are gonna enjoy this much better trust me on this i mean i'm a nobody youtube streamer with YouTube, youtuber with no views but uh what can i say there is a chance for this game to be really really fucking fun really really fucking enjoying you just need to add more quality of life and give a chance to for people to um, not play a very specific perf perfect way but make mistakes and still be able to finish the game like in terms with shotgun yeah just set set it that you know you need maybe two or three shots with the shotgun to the problem is sometimes I shoot it and it seems like it does nothing but you know it said it that you know if you just shoot the zombie point blank there is a chance to blow up the head more than with a pistol but you know you still need like what two or three shots with the shotgun to kill it and give and count the amount of ammo you give to players for that kind of play style but if there are smart players or you know competent players uh, not competent. I'd, I'd be gatekeeping if there are players who do their research or check out stuff or you know figure stuff out that you know waiting for the last moment and shooting the zombie in the head uh, like holding up and shooting the zombie in the head gives you a chance to save ammo and then blow zombie in one shot then they will end up with more shotgun shells that they can you know waste or use on other stuff later on or like on a boss uh, so yeah g balance it for that or again i'm saying give, give an option of fucking difficulty options and you know balance normal for this kind of play style which is already here balance easy for extra ammo extra loot extra healing and all that and then balance uh, hard for less all of that so they will need to learn how to juke the zombies uh, and run around and avoid them and risk some encounters without so that that's my my opinion I'm not a game developer, the fact that they, it's just two of you, that you are a couple and doing this together is fucking amazing. I can't, you know, I can't praise that uh, more, like it's, it's absolutely fucking amazing. I wish you all the luck, uh, especially in this kind of a gamble where you, you know, 
not, not abandoned everything, but you know, you, you follow your passion of game development and you're, uh, you're doing this as a full time thing. It's not easy. You need money to survive. You need all that and you need this game to succeed. So, this I'm giving you just a gamer's advice of that. I played a lot of fucking uh, Resident Evil games. You can check my channel. There is Friday Night Frights. I want to play this in Friday Night Frights, but you need to modify some of the things. Like, I will wish for this game. I'm, it's wishlisted. I'm gonna check it out when it comes out. I'm gonna play it. Probably forget how to play by the point that it comes out, so I'll rewatch myself. But just add these quality of lives, rebalance some stuff, and even with the jank, you know, I will still play it and fully enjoy it. And I, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Good luck to you guys. Uh, have fun making the game, and can't wait to play it. Sorry about the rage, but that's my kind of passion. If I rage, it's passion. Well. Kind of bad but never mind any case thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking around for this second demo alley of this and i've spent like half an hour just talking at the end but mm, so it is i'm gonna i'm gonna upload this as well uh, i don't mind uh, i got pissed off so much that i wanted to finish this properly mm, and i did it again instead i mean i actually finished it it's not like it got pissed off so much that i didn't have any ammo to fight the boss except you know tried to cut its ankles and then die uh so yeah uh, do the like subscribe comment dance all that jazz follow me on twitch or youtube it's by the, it's by the same name by pen and paper i'm rogue gamer uh this was another demo alley of echoes of the living uh, until next time do remember it's the story that we play see ya